This video is sponsored by Intel. Hey everyone, my name is Bob and welcome to the why of my why what how video series on Intel Arc GPUs. In this video, we'll be talking about why, as a content creator, I've decided to join the Arc family. Like with every big decision I make in content creation, business and life in general, I always ask myself, what is the why of what I'm doing? This way I can decide whether what I want to focus on is grounded in reason and actually makes sense. That way, if I ever have to explain it to anyone or even myself, I always have something to go back to. For this, there were three things that I wanted to do. Since I already stream to not only YouTube, but also to multiple other sites, as well as recording my content at the same time, I'm usually putting a lot of strain on my PC. So I wanted to use less resources. But this presents a bit of an issue because of my next point. I'm constantly looking for ways to improve the quality of my stream. I'm a designer by trade, so I'm obsessed with quality. And while streaming on YouTube has allowed me to boost my bitrate compared to Twitch, I still feel like there's more that I could do. Even if offering a better quality stream seems completely counterintuitive to my first point of using less resources, and especially to my last point. To achieve what I'm trying to do with lowering my resource usage and increasing my output quality, it seems improbable that I could do this without shelling out a lot of cash. But that is where art comes in. The Intel Arc GPUs are currently the most affordable option to utilize one of the latest and greatest video codecs, AV1. This encoder not only allows you to use less resources, but it also improves on stream quality and reduces file size output so you not only save on storage, but it's also even easier to send these smaller files to video editors too. But since this video isn't meant for those who are technically inclined, let's take a moment to explain in simple terms what a video codec like AV1 is. Basically, all it is is a special algorithm that looks at each frame of a video and works to slim down the size of the final file by making changes to it that most human eyes can't actually identify without compromising on the quality. It's thanks to this that you're able to stream high quality videos on the internet. But not all compression algorithms are built the same. Each one offers different efficiencies when reducing video size, like older codecs HEVC and VP9. But AV1 is basically the new kid in town and it's ready to run rings around the oldies. The two GPUs that I'll be using to showcase AV1 encoding in this video series are the A750, which retails around £250, versus the average cost of around £330 for equivalent competitor cards, and the A380 that retails for around £130. And whilst the A380 won't be able to run everything on my streaming rig, in the next video in the series, I'll be going over what it can do and why this little card might be exactly what you need as a content creator who already has a pretty hefty PC. For more on what these two GPUs can do, make sure to check out this video. And if you want to check out how to set up these cards and AV1 encoding for your streams and videos, you can jump into the final video in the series here. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.